Hey you guys, starting another vlog in the car with Steven driving What's going on, guys? and me vlogging. We are currently on our way into New York City. We're both so excited, or at least I'm very excited. Yeah, it's not my favorite place. <laughs> no, Steven is not a city kind of guy. Um, I love New York, especially during the holidays. Honestly, there's just no other place in the world. I like New York City. Um, so we always go in every year around Christmas time and just see all the sights, the touristy things and stuff. And I figured today would be fun if we like brought you guys along. Maybe some of you have never been to New York or you've never been here during Christmas time. So I figured it'd be cool to show you guys um, because it really is just such a beautiful place during this time of year. And I feel like we a lot of times take it for granted that we live close and can go in whenever. So I was like, today we are going and we're going to see all the Christmas things. Sorry, we're going over a bunch of bumps. So if the <laughs> camera's going like this, I'm sorry. I'm trying to hold it as stable as possible. But um, yeah, yeah, so we're gonna just drive in and park in a parking garage and once we are parked I will see you guys and show you what we're doing. I just want to show you guys this is New Jersey for you. 47 minutes to go 6.9 miles currently in lots of traffic as always but yep this is life here. <laughs> lots of traffic. All right so after a long and stressful car ride yeah. <laughs> we're here. Steven did a very good job navigating all of the traffic, thank goodness, because there was a lot. Um, but we parked and now we are walking over to Rockefeller Center. And in front of us is a Radio City Music Hall, which is where the Rockettes are. <laughs> We always have to get these when we come to the city. It's Steven's favorite. One of my favorite <laughs> They are really good. They're cashews. You just get them on like a little stand like that. But they're actually delicious. Steven enjoying himself for the first time. His trip with his cashews. <laughs> Okay, so we finished going to all the touristy places and stuff for the day. So now we're going to go to like a Christmassy sort of bar that I found online. So hopefully it's good and hopefully there's not a 5,000 hour wait. Because we haven't eaten since breakfast and it's like 5 p.m. So let's see. the next day Steven is at work so I am going to get to wrap in his presents because this is his last day actually of work until Christmas which is crazy he actually has off on Christmas this year which I'm very excited about um, he hasn't for the past couple years so it'll be nice to actually spend the day together with our family but yeah this is his last day at work before Christmas where I can like sneak around and wrap his gifts because Steven is the kind where he will be like shaking them and trying to figure out what everything is so I'm gonna go and get to wrapping them now I'm not the greatest rapper in the world, so I use bows and boxes to kind of hide from that, but this is all the stuff that I got for Steven, got it all done. Even though I repeatedly told him that I was not getting him anything because I got him the truck for Christmas, but I couldn't leave him with nothing to open on Christmas Day, you know what I mean? So I got that done, I feel accomplished. I do have a couple gifts for my parents and stuff that I do still have to wrap and some stuff for Steven's parents, but aside from that, I'm pretty much done. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. It looks like Santa came. We have all the gifts under the tree. We're about to get started. And every year we watch the Yule Log on the TV. So we just put it here. We have it while we're opening gifts. We're at my mom's house. So this is her tree that I helped her decorate. Really pretty. I'm most excited for the dogs to open their gifts. It's all in the Chewy box. <laughs> They're gonna be so cute. You guys, it doesn't matter how old we get, literally 26 years old and married, yeah. my mom will get me pajamas <laughs> and Steven matching ones. And she even got pajamas for Prince, but he did not like them. No, he didn't. So we took them off of him, but we have our matching PJs and we're ready to open up gifts now. What is this? Are those treaties in there, maybe? Maybe treaties? What is it? <gasps> Let's see, let's rip the paper. <gasps> What's in there? Are they treaties? Is it treaties? You see? Oh my gosh! Oh no, bargain miss! What's in here? What is that? Oh look, there's more over here! Oh my gosh! So much stuff for you guys! Hello you guys, so it is the day after Christmas. We are about to walk into the mall. We have a few returns to do. Because <laughs> we both bought each other like a lot of different clothes and stuff. Um, so like they don't always fit or not each other's style and whatever. So we're coming to do a few returns um, and see what else. Maybe we'll end up buying something else. I don't know. 
Stephen did get me this cute little hat though. I don't normally I was, wear hats. I was a little worried getting it. <laughs> I saw it on the way out. I was like, oh, let me throw this in the back too. See if she likes it. He was like, I don't know if you're gonna like it, but I think it's cool. I don't normally wear hats, but it's nice to have my head like nice and warm. So it's nice. I think it's cute. I like the little thing on the top. <laughs> The mall is very, very crowded. Oh my gosh. Because the mall we're at, like normally, literally no one is ever here. And there is a ton of people everywhere. We just did our first return. We were like waiting in like a long line where normally there's like nobody even in the stores. So definitely a little weird, but conquering it. I'm forcing Steven to try on joggers, which he normally hates, but I think they're cute. So we'll see what they look like. Joggers, guys, he actually liked them. So we're getting them. <laughs> Look at the Apple store. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness we don't have to go in there. Whenever we come to the mall, we always get chicken teriyaki to eat. So good. Delicious. It's from that place in the background, Sarku, but it's delicious. I feel like a lot of malls have it, but it's really, really good. So we're treating ourselves today <laughs> as if we didn't yesterday on Christmas all day long, yeah. but it's okay. We're excited. All right, you guys. So we conquered the mall. We are on our way home. We're about Finally. to leave. <laughs> yeah, it took a little longer than expected, but we're about to leave the mall now and head home. I did want to talk to you guys about something though, because last week, um, I'm not sure exactly when you guys are going to see this vlog, but the last vlog that I basically put up on our channel was right before Christmas. Um, and I had it up for, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. And then I took the vlog down. Um, but a lot of you guys got like notifications for the vlog and stuff. And then like when you went to go click on it, obviously it was gone. So you were like, wait, where's the vlog? Like so upset. Um, and I got so many DMs and questions and stuff about it. So I did want to address it on here i did address it on my instagram stories but i know not everybody follows me on there so i figured if you don't follow me on ig then this is why i deleted the vlog basically in the last vlog i was vlogging in the car while i was driving i was talking to you guys whatever is completely fine but for whatever reason my whole life i wore my seatbelt weird um or not the proper way. So in the vlog, it looked like I was not wearing a seatbelt at all. I have my seatbelt on the correct way now, which thanks to you guys, I noticed that I didn't wear my seatbelt the correct way and will now wear it the proper way, um, which is, you know, across your body. Sorry, we we're like hitting a bunch of bumps. So if my phone is going crazy, that's why. But basically for my whole life, I wore my seatbelt under my arm like this. Um, so when I'm vlogging, it looks like I'm not wearing a seatbelt, even though I am, it's just underneath my arm right here. But this is the proper way to wear it. I think when I was a kid, it used to hit on my neck. So I always would put it underneath my arm and that's why um so I never even realized that I was like not wearing it properly like that's just always how I wore it so it was like I don't even realize that I do it that I put my arm under so now I have to make a conscious effort to like make sure that it goes across my chest which is how it's supposed to be but basically in the vlog because of that it didn't look like I was wearing a seatbelt of course I was wearing a seatbelt I always wear a seatbelt and if I wasn't my car would be dinging uncontrollably like my car like beeps when you you know like most cars do when it moves and you're not wearing a seatbelt so you would know if I wasn't wearing it but it did definitely look like I wasn't wearing it and every single comment was like where's your seatbelt where's your seatbelt I don't ever want to promote not wearing a seatbelt. I was wearing a seatbelt, but it didn't look like it. So I would never want anybody to watch my video and be like, oh, well, Kelly Stripe doesn't wear a seatbelt, neither do I. Um, yes, I was wearing a seatbelt. I just wasn't wearing it properly. Now I'm going to be wearing it properly like this. Thank you to you guys for pointing it out to me. Um, but that's basically why I took the vlog down because that's what every single comment was about. And yeah, I just don't ever want to promote not wearing a seatbelt, of course. Um, so yeah, that's basically the tea on that. Steven was like, I never even realized that like you wore your seatbelt like that. And I was like, yeah, I know I yeah, neither did I. Like, that's just always how I wore it, and I never thought twice about it. I'm pretty sure my parents wear it like that, which is probably where I got the habit from, but, like, never, I don't even think about it, like, putting it under my arm. Like, that's just how I do it. So now I have to think about putting it across like this, and I'm sure with time, um, you know, I'll be able to get used to it, and it'll be, like, second nature, like, wearing it the other way was. But, yeah, that's basically the tea on that. Just wanted to let you guys know if you didn't see my Instagram story explaining that, but, yeah. <laughs> wear your seatbelt kids because it is important and it could save your life okay you guys ever since i got home from the mall i have been trying to film tiktoks i'm going to show you guys my little tiktok setup upstairs i have become obsessed with the app like literally i feel like mostly like the younger the younger kids use it i'm like a little old for tiktok like i feel like me being 26 i'm like one of the older people on the app but like i don't know i've been obsessed with it don't look in our bedroom because it is all messy and stuff is everywhere. Um, but my little setup is not very profesh, but I figured I'd show you guys. This is basically what I'm working with. I should really get like one of those like sticky tripods or something, but I literally just like stacked up boxes and this big stack of NARS lipsticks. And I've been putting my phone like this because you basically film TikToks on your phone. Um, so that's what I've been doing for like the past two hours. But TikTok is actually pretty hard. Like, it's like you really have to get it filmed. Like, it's difficult to edit the videos. So you have to kind of do it 
in one shot unless I just don't really know what I'm doing. But there's no way to like save like your videos unless you post them. So it's like a little difficult. I don't know. I'm still figuring it out, but I've really been enjoying it. Um, my TikTok is Kelly underscore Strack because Kelly Strack was already taken. Um, I honestly think I am the one who started Kelly Strack like a long time ago, but I have no idea what the password is and it wouldn't let me log in. So I had to make it a different one. So it's Kelly underscore Strack. If you guys have TikTok, follow me over there. Um, I've actually been having a lot of fun with it. I'll show you guys the one that I just posted. I thought it was funny. Hi, I'm Kim Kardashian West. And something you might not know about me is that I'm a really good cook and I love to cook. But that's basically what TikTok is. It's like a bunch of like little like lip sync, like voiceover things. Um, or there's like a lot of dances. So I'm trying to learn some of the dances. Cause like I actually am a good dancer. Like I danced my whole life and I cheerleaded and stuff. Like I did that all throughout high school and everything. So um, it's just a matter of me like learning them, you know? But a lot of these TikTok stars are like 15 years old. It's literally insane. Um, but they're like so good. Like their facial expressions, their dances and stuff are really good. So I feel like a dinosaur, but it's been actually really fun. So that's basically all I've been doing since we've been home. Steven had to go off to work. So this is my night alone. It's a social media influencer learning TikTok dances. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna close the vlog out here. I don't have that much else going on today. I have to go to Kohl's to do a return. Nobody wants to see that. Not really fun. Um, and it's not even a Kohl's return, but now you can like return stuff that you bought off of Amazon to Kohl's. I don't know, they must do like some sort of partnership or whatever. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, and that's really gonna be it. So I'm gonna close out the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you very soon in our next vlog. Bye.